Hi everyone, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds. If you're new around here, welcome, and if you're a regular, welcome back. We're a home audio retailer that specialise in making content like this, so you can be sure that the audio products are going to be right for you. And if they're not, we do offer a 30-day listen better promise so you can return the speakers to us for a full refund. We do also offer an extended six-year warranty on all Sonos products so you know you're covered. Today, we're going to be looking at the Sonos Amp, which was released back in February 2019. Now we have already done a quick review of it on our YouTube channel last year, but as a year has passed, we have a lot more to say about it now and how it can best be used uh, since the addition of new speakers on the market and some interesting updates. We're going to be covering uh, exactly what the Sonos Amp is, all of the applications that it can be used for, its internals and connections, and comparing it with some of its competitors so you can determine whether it's gonna be the right amp for you. So let's get started. First of all, what is the Sonos Amp? Well, it's Sonos' latest smart amplifier to power any passive third-party speakers that you have with an impressive 125 watts of power per channel. So whether that's bookshelf speakers, floor standing speakers, in ceiling or outdoor speakers, for example. Now the amp is sold at an RRP of 599 and it's the replacement to the older Connect Amp. Now we're not going to be comparing the amp to the Connect Amp in this video as that is now a legacy product, but we wrote a blog comparing the two if you'd like to find out more and this will be in the description below. So in terms of connecting speakers to the Sonos amp, you would use speaker cable and this is how they're going to power the speakers. So it works like a traditional amplifier, but being a Sonos product, you'll also gain access to the Sonos ecosystem. And this is what makes it a smart amplifier as you can take advantage of wireless streaming from the large choice of music streaming services available on the Sonos app, such as Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, and lots more. You've also got AirPlay 2 on board, so you can stream any audio from your Apple devices straight to the amp and the speakers that it's connected to. So there's quite a few different scenarios that you can use the Sonos amp in, in which we'll cover a bit later on in the video. Now, if we take a closer look at the product, you'll notice it's quite a lot smaller than traditional amplifiers, and that is completely intentional from Sonos. So if Sonos wanted to get away from having uh, amplifiers that take up large amounts of space, and as it's controlled wirelessly through the Sonos app, the only wires you need to get this up and running is the cable from the amp to each of the speakers it's powering and mains power for the amp itself. It's also only sold in this black color, which is often referred to as stealth black. So on the front of the product, it's quite minimalistic with a play pause button and volume uh, controls in case you're near your amp and you want quick control without needing to open the Sonos app. Now if we look at the back of the amp, this is where all your connections are. So you've got your mains power, you've got your join button for connecting to Wi-Fi wirelessly, you've got your speaker terminals um, and that's where the speaker cable will run from and then into each of the speaker terminals on the other speakers. Now Sonos actually supply banana plugs in the box and these ensure a really simple and neat connection from the speaker cable to the binding posts on the Sonos amp. You'll notice that there is a left and a right uh, terminal so you would wire your left speaker to the left channel and your right speaker to the right to make a left and a right stereo pair. You've also got a line in for connecting um, other audio components such as a turntable or CD player and we will cover that in more detail a bit later on. Here you have an HDMI ARC connection for your TV so if you'd like to listen to the TV audio through the amp and connected speakers you would use this connection. You've also got a subwoofer out if you'd like to connect your own active subwoofer to the amp for more bass. Now of course you can pair Sonos's own sub wirelessly with the amp and you'll then have the freedom to position that anywhere in the room. Now you also have two ethernet ports, one in and one out, so you can wire both to a router and a games console at the same time for a solid connection, as an example. On the underside here, you'll notice this ring is actually designed so that it can stack on other Sonos amps if you're using multiple. Um, and you can also fit two of these amps into a standard 19 inch rack if you're having them professionally installed. Moving on to what you can use the amp for then. So one of the most popular solutions is to use it in conjunction with ceiling speakers. Now most ceiling speakers are passive, which means they rely on the use of a separate amplifier to run. So by using the Sonos amp to power them, you can combine the aesthetics of ceiling speakers with the convenience of wireless streaming from Spotify, for example. Now we are seeing this increasingly in home extensions, renovation projects, and new builds where access to the ceiling is much easier and you can run the cable in behind the ceiling for a neat fit. Finish. If you're looking to start a project like this and you want to incorporate ceiling speakers, we're happy to help with amp and speaker pairings. We've tried and tested a vast range of options, including models from Bowers & Wilkins, Monitor Audio, KEF, um, and lots more to ensure we offer the right speakers and speaker packages on our site. 
Our team can help you work out the right speaker for your home and the type of listening that you're after, as we know it can be tricky when there are so many different options out there. And we also offer a ceiling speaker design service where we can help with speaker placements and the number of speakers required. Sonos actually do their own in-ceiling speakers that we have installed in our demo room for $599 a pair, which are just named Sonos in-ceiling speakers. And these feature as part of their architectural range, which also includes a set of in-wall and outdoor speakers. Now the main benefit of using Sonos's own in-ceiling or in-wall speakers with the Sonos amp is that you'll unlock true play tuning, which is where you can acoustically optimize the speakers for the size and layout of your room so they sound perfect for the space that they're in. Now this is the only time that a speaker company has been able to run a tuning process on ceiling speakers and as the size and architecture of your room is one of the biggest interfering factors of sound quality, this is a great advantage. You can also install up to three pairs of these on one amp, whereas you're limited to two pairs if you use a different brand of ceiling speakers. Now that might be ample for your setup though, so it does depend on the layout and size of your room as well as your listening needs. Of course, we do have a range of other ceiling speakers on our website if the Sonos ones are going to be out of budget or you've got a different brand or model in mind. We also have a dedicated ceiling speaker video series on our YouTube channel if you are interested in going down this route which also covers our top picks for different situations and I'll pop a link in our description below to this. Another application that you can use the Sonos amp with is to power a set of bookshelf or floor standing speakers to create a left and a right stereo pair, maybe for a hi-fi setup. Now you could use your existing bookshelf or floor standing speakers that you already have and just replace the amplifier with the Sonos amp, or you might prefer newer models such as the Bowers & Wilkins 606 or 607s, which would be good as an upgrade or as a starter hi-fi setup. Of course, one of the big benefits of having a separate amplifier and speakers is that you can upgrade the amp or the speakers in the future should you wish to. You can also use the Sonos amp to power a set of passive outdoor speakers for your garden or patio area. Again, there are many options available such as wall-mounted or even rock speakers. Now this setup is a great idea if you're looking for a permanent solution outdoors rather than using a portable outdoor speaker. And when you go for a dedicated setup such as this, you'll unlock a much better listening experience. However, if you don't want to invest quite this much in your outdoor zone, I consider, some, uh, I consider looking at something like the Sonos Move portable speaker, which can be moved from room to room or outdoors if you want to stay in the Sonos ecosystem. Although, of course, there are lots of portable options out there. The final setup that the Sonos amp is great for is with your TV. Now, you can either connect the amp directly to the TV via the HDMI ARC input if you just want the ability to listen to TV audio through the speakers that the amp is connected to for a 2.0 stereo setup. Now, that could be a set of bookshelf, floor standing, in ceiling or in wall speakers. Now, one of the great features about the Sonos amp is that it has a phantom center channel. And that basically means that it will use parts of the left and the right channels to emulate a center channel. So the sound doesn't feel like it's coming too much from the left or too much from the right. The amp will also let you set it up as surround speakers. So we've seen many customers use the Sonos Beam or the Arc at the front with ceiling speakers powered by the amp as rear surrounds. Now, if you didn't want a soundbar at the front, maybe because you don't like the aesthetics of them and you still wanted to benefit from a surround sound setup, you could have a pair of in-ceiling or in-wall speakers either side of your TV at the front and a second set of in-ceiling or in-wall speakers as the rears. You would need two amps in this configuration as the amp can only do one thing at a time, either front, left and right or as surrounds. Now this would give you a 4.0 Dolby Digital setup, which can be finished off with a sub to create a 4.1 setup. The other feature that makes the amp great in TV setups is its IR sensor, so you can pair your existing TV remote with it as long as the amp is in view of the remote. And that means you don't need to take out your phone every time to control the volume in the Sonos app. So moving on to one of the most frequently asked questions that we get, and that's how is the amp different from the Sonos port? Now the port falls into the category of being a wireless streamer. So it does everything that the Sonos amp does, but it doesn't have the amplification built in, so it can't power existing speakers. The purpose of the port is to be plugged into an existing amplifier, so maybe if you want to keep your existing amplifier and speakers, but want to give it an upgrade in the form of the Sonos ecosystem. The port will do this for you, so we do have a full review of the Sonos port on our YouTube channel, so if you need further clarification on that, I'll pop a link down below. Now coming back to the Sonos amp, I also want to talk in a little bit more detail about this line in on the back. So it's an RCA input which is ideal for connecting something like a turntable, CD player or any other audio component that you have. Now what's special about this line in is that once you've connected your chosen audio component to it, not only can you listen through the connected speakers, but uh, you can group this audio to any other Sonos speakers that you have around your home using the Sonos app. 
So that means you could theoretically be listening to your vinyl audio on all of the Sonos speakers in your home at the same time. Now you can also automate the process and enable autoplay. So Sonos will automatically switch to the line in audio when it detects a source, uh, such as when the needle hits the vinyl or when the CD starts spinning, so there's no further buttons to press. Another great feature of the Sonos Amp worth mentioning is dual mono mode. And traditionally, the Sonos Amp is supposed to be used uh, to power a left and a right speaker, so they become a true stereo pair. However, there are times where you may not necessarily want your speakers to be either a left or a right, and you may want them to just play both of the channels through each speaker. The times that this will be useful is perhaps if you're using ceiling speakers and you're positioning one of the speakers around a corner, or if they're going to be positioned more than five meters away from each other, where the stereo separation effect might be lost. Now, dual mono mode will ensure that you're getting a balanced sound on each speaker, and it's also a great get out of jail free card if you've only wired a single cable for a single stereo ceiling speaker. Now, for the most part, dual mono mode won't need to be used, but it is great for peace of mind and opens up your options for positioning a bit more. Now, we have got a blog about dual mono mode, which I will also pop a link to in our description below. Moving on to comparing the Sonos Amp with other reputable amplifiers. Now, the first point I would mention is that if you're looking to build a home full of audio, maybe in the form of ceiling speakers, we think the Sonos Amp is a great choice as it offers a huge range of streaming options and connects to a variety of different audio solutions for different types of listening. But if you're looking for a standard 2.0 stereo setup, maybe with a set of bookshelf speakers, you could also consider something like the new Riga IO Amp for £379. Now this amp, which has just won a Watt Hi-Fi five, five-star review, boasts two line level inputs and an additional moving magnet high quality phono stage, something that Riga are renowned for. While it doesn't offer any Wi-Fi capabilities, so you can't benefit from wireless streaming without adding a wireless streamer, it is a perfect amp for someone maybe looking to downsize their hi-fi setup or for complete beginners. Now we will be doing a Riga IO review very soon, so stay tuned for that. Another premium option would be the Blue Sound PowerNode 2i, which retails at a slightly higher price of £799. Now, Blue Sound are renowned for their high quality DACs, and the PowerNode 2i also offers a lot of the same features as the Sonos Amp connections wise and also works through its own app. It also offers some extras such as Bluetooth and high resolution audio. So if you use a high-res music streaming service such as, such as Tidal, you can squeeze extra sound quality out of the speakers. Now I'll put links to both of these amplifiers in the description below if you'd like to find out more. So we're almost at the end of the video. As always, we've just got the strengths and weaknesses to cover and is it worth its price tag? So first of all, the strengths of the Sonos Amp are that it offers a neater, more compact solution than traditional amplifiers. Uh, while also adding Wi-Fi capabilities so you can unlock streaming and a comprehensive multi-room ecosystem for your existing speakers. It's also very versatile and can be used in a variety of setups such as for a, ho a full home of ceiling speakers, in a TV setup or for a stereo pair of bookshelf speakers. It also forms part of a whole home sound system when used in conjunction with other Sonos speakers. We're also really happy with the amount of power this pushes out and 125 watts per channel. It's not audiophile standard, but this should be more than enough for the general day-to-day -day listener. The weaknesses of the Sonos amp are that it doesn't support Bluetooth, which may be a deal breaker for some. It gets quite costly if there is a need to use multiple amps in your home. And it does also have only one line in. But of course, if you have multiple amps in your setup, this, elim uh, this eliminates this potential issue. So our final question is whether it's worth £599. Now the Sonos Amp is admittedly expensive at £599 each, and this would power a single zone or room in your home. So it's not going to be the right fit for everyone. However, from our experience of testing multi-room systems, we don't feel that there is a better priced option on the market currently that executes multi-room control the same way that Sonos does. Their app is reliable and intuitive to use day to day, and their experience shows when you compare it with other similar Wi-Fi based systems. It will also get better over time, unlocking software upgrades when they uh, become available, which are sometimes extremely useful. So I hope you found that helpful. If you love music, it would be great to have you on board our community. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And if you're based in the UK, remember we can supply a range of audio products for your needs with our extended six year Sonos warranty. Just get in touch with one of our audio specialists who can help you out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.